The Volkswagen Tiguan SUV has finally been launched in India. The Tiguan is based on the MQB platform and only gets the diesel engine option, made it to an automatic gearbox and all-wheel drive. Priced at 27 lakh 98 thousand rupees for the entry level comfort line and 31 lakh 38 thousand rupees for the range stopping high line, the Tiguan takes on the likes of other more premium compact SUVs like the BMW X1, the Mercedes Benz GLA, and the Audi Q3. In more electric mobility news, Tesla is looking to set up shop in India and is talking to global component makers like Magneti Morelli to support its production for the Indian and export markets. The new GST tax structure could finally be the push that Tesla would need to seriously consider India as a new manufacturing base. It was sad news from the world of motorsport this week as former MotoGP world champion and world superbike racer Nicky Hayden passed away. He was 35. Hayden was training on his bicycle on the Vimini coast and was struck by an oncoming car. It's a huge loss to the motorsport fraternity and we do offer our deepest condolences to his friends and family. Royal Enfield boss Siddharth Lal has confirmed that a more powerful Royal Enfield Himalayan will be developed soon. Lal specified that while the demand for higher capacity motorcycles is more evident in international markets, it will be working only on products that meet the Indian requirements first. That said, there is no info yet on how powerful the new Himalayan will be or what displacement the new engine will have. And finally, we have driven the brand new Maruti Suzuki Desire. With both a petrol and diesel engine getting a manual and AMD option, check out our review for everything you need to know about the new Desire, including the exterior design, interior design and interior space, and of course fuel economy. Check out the links in the description below.